Guys, there's some serious shit going down on Twitter right now. I was going to keep mum about it because this involves things like rape. This involves things of like false allegations of rape. And I wanted to ensure you guys that, you know, I'm going to try to my best to handle this sensitively, but I'm very passionate about this issue and I wanted to talk about it in detail. It involves Nate Wants to Battle, it involves John Carla Paramango 11, it involves Purple Rodri. These are all YouTubers in their own right. All of them went to Pack South, and this situation that I'm about to describe to you guys, I'm going to try to be as direct and quick as possible about it. It's serious. John Carlo Paramango 11. Most of you guys know him. He has a pretty bad reputation in the YouTube community for previous bullshit that he's done before. It's kind of sad, but you know, I know John on a personal level, and I'm not saying that, you know, he's been the saint of the YouTube community. Now, hell no. But I mean, I know that he, deep, deep, deep down, he's got some good qualities to him. Some. But you know, this whole thing comes down to rape allegations. At PAX South, from what I understand of the situation, because, you know, Nate Wants to Battle clearly put it out there, that John Carlo Paramango invited Nate Wants to Battle's girlfriend, Morgan, to have sex with her, to potentially rape her with Purple Raji, a friend of his. These, the following sentence I said is probably the most fucking controversial and serious sentence I've ever said on my YouTube channel. Rape allegations are serious and when I first saw these claims I wanted to light into John's ass because I don't know I mean there's a lot that's going on John's reputation like I said isn't that good so I wanted to find out John what's going on with this what the fuck is happening what the fuck's going on and this shit has fucking snowballed now Rape allegations are serious. If this kind of thing happened, anyone, anyone who takes advantage of someone who's drunk, especially a girl, I don't give a fuck about double standards. A girl who's drunk, if you try to take advantage of a person like that, you're scum. You're lower than fucking dirt. No one should ever try to do anything like that. It's fucked up, and it, it, it's, the, it's one of the reasons why I just can't stand this fucking planet. But John, so that's why I was like, Nate, this is fucking horrible. This is fucking horrible. I can't believe something like this would happen at Pack South, where it's supposed to be an event where everybody's having fun. Instead, there's some serious allegations going on that John attempted rape on Nate Wants to Battle's girlfriend. This is serious. Things are about to hit another fucking level. Because after these allegations, let's go to John Carlo Paramango's Twitter. And before we, before, let's look at the allegations initially made in general. The, the initial allegations were fucking serious. Nate posted some serious, disturbing stuff about this. Nate said, Nate basically said, Morgan got a bit drunk and we fought. We're fine now. Purple Raji and John tried to use that to invite her over to sleep with her. My heart sank in my goddamn stomach. Oh my fucking god, how could you? John, how could you? This is what I initially thought. This is fucked up. It's fucked up, right? But then John posted on Twitter and responded to Nate. And things just... Things just... I don't know what... I don't know what's going on. But, okay, so here we go. So now, John is being accused of serious stuff. Now, I'm not trying to say that automatically I took John's side just because I'm a friend of his. This is some serious shit. I was ready to kill his ass. But the thing about this is that John responded and obvious, I mean, let's see what John said. Okay, so we're gonna see what John said. Um, I wanna go to his um, tweets and replies. We're gonna go back to when he first responded to this. And um, Nate said that also, you know, this, that's what happened and this is information that by all means should be public knowledge and you're right rape should be fucking public if someone committed a sexual crime or took advantage of someone when they were drunk that should be public knowledge and that person should make sure their reputation should be gone after doing something fucked up like rape to a, some, to a girl who's drunk it's fucked up and you're damn right that person should be put out there for it they should be hung for that shit and then he says beyond all this my sympathies go to your kid my thoughts and prayers go out to them in hopes that they end up nothing like you. And he's talking about John Carlo's um, wife and child. So this is some serious stuff. And you know, this is, rape is serious. But then John responded. And then John responded and he said, okay, here we go, here we go. So John said, um, wait, what? He said this in response to um, Nate Wants to Battle. And then he said, come on guys, don't be silly. John posted a screenshot of a conversation that he was having with Morgan on Twitter. So as you guys can see right here, it says, um, man, I had a fight with Nate on my birthday, but 
that it no one's fault. It's no one's fault. And, you know, they were a little bit drunk, you know, drunk text, whatever. Drunk Twitter DM. Um, where are you at? I'm with Glitch X City. She makes great remixes. And Becca, we can come get you. Glitch wants you to come. You know, Glitch is cool. She seems cool. I haven't met her yet. I got, shout out to Glitch. But I mean, still, she seems cool. And um, he says, we don't want you wandering out alone. And then Morgan says, disregard last night's DMs. Things are better now. So apparently, in the time that, uh, okay, so apparently, in the time that the message first happened, the DM, a lot of time passed. So that was, yeah, so, you know, disregard last night's DMs. Things are better now. Okay. And then John says, I know John, and then this guy says, I know John Carlo Paramango. I know that he's stupid, and John is definitely stupid, but he wouldn't do something that awful. And then John says, what is wrong with these people? I didn't do anything, and I'm not taking this accusation lightly. And then he says to someone, get your fucking facts straight. And then John says, you truly want the DMs? I do not give a fuck. And then he's having this conversation with Nate back and forth. And then Nate says, your little DM cap does nothing to support your case. All it does is show that you provoke the situation. So John posted a screenshot of a conversation that happened with him and Nate wants to battle his girlfriend that night that Nate and his girlfriend are saying that John attempted to rape her. And it didn't look like anything weird was going on. If he all he said was, hey, we're here with Glitch. We're here with um, Beck. Come on, come through, you know what I mean? Hey, I know you fucked up. Hey, whatever, you know, whatever. Glitch wants you to come through. It sounds legit to me. I didn't, I don't see anything there instigating rape or trying to take advantage of someone's drunk girlfriend. I didn't see anything like that. So you know what? I looked at that first and I said, okay, but there's gotta be something else that happened. Now that John posted screenshot evidence, Nate wants to battle with saying that there were some serious allegations out there. So I wanna know, okay, Nate, you know, obviously these are serious things that John's saying here, that you're saying here, but John, posted screenshots of him saying nothing of the sort. So obviously, Nate, we need to see evidence from you. I I apologize because rape, like I said, if it's accused, like some Bill Cosby shit, and you have plenty of people coming up and saying, yes, he did this, then obviously you have a lot of, you know, pull behind that opinion. But God forbid, if Nate made these allegations, did not do his research, and did not actually find out if everything that he's saying happened actually happened, Anyways, so let's look more into what the conversation was going on. So let's see what happened now. So now um, we saw that first screenshot. We saw the first screenshot. And then, um, and then John says, do you want all the DMs? I truly don't give a fuck. John's saying, I'm going to post the whole conversation for you so you can see what was going on. So you can see for yourself if there was any kind of rape going on. And he says, Here, I'll show it all to you. I don't give a fuck. Obviously, at this point now, John is basically saying to Nate, dude, you're accusing me of some serious shit. If I post these DMs and it, there's nothing like rape going on, you're accusing me of rape on a fucking public, on a public website with a ton of viewers. Nate is trying to air John out. Obviously, right? Nate's trying to air him out. So, you know, this is serious. If Nate was trying, like... But the fact that Nate is going so aggressive means that, okay, this must be true. But then John posts screenshots. So obviously, now, the, the tide is a little bit turned because now Nate has to produce some kind of evidence that shows that there was some kind of rape made. Well, not because, you know, he's saying it never happened, but he's saying that John tried to hit her up for, you know, to hang out when they were drunk. Okay, so now let's see the next set of screenshots. John posts the screenshots. More screenshots. Let's see what the screenshots say. Um, we're going to zoom in. Oh man, I'm gonna have to try to turn the page down. Okay, so now John says, um, we have so many drinks here. I'm with Becca and Glitch. Man, I had a fight with Nate on my birthday, but it's no one's fault. Where are you at? I can come get you. We don't want you wandering out alone. Disregard last night's DMs. I'm better now. Okay, I gotta really figure out how to work Twitter better. But, um, okay, so you guys saw that was the first one. And now we're looking at, um, let's look at the next one. Um, that was the one that we just saw. And then now, here we go. I really gotta figure out how to work this. Did you say sorry to me when you were on the phone with Glitch? I'm a little intoxicated. I am fucked up, Morgan, LMAO. We're on the same boat. I'm in control of my boat. I like to cruise on the high side, but I'm still in control. And then John says, I'm not. I'm all the way gone. So I apologize in advance for anything stupid. When I first saw that, I'm like, oh shit, John, are you about to say something stupid? Or did you really try to attempt anything with her? And then we see the next message. And then, uh, let's see, we're gonna have to zoom in here. Oh my God, I, I really cannot work Twitter at all. I cannot work Twitter at all, man. I'm trying my best to navigate this for you guys. I apologize, but um, okay, we're just gonna open it up in this one. Oh God, it's the same shit, okay. Oh God, all right. 
Oh, so that's why you were saying sorry. I thought I did something wrong. You're good? Are you still a glitch? Sweet. Nah, she left. Just hanging out with Nate and chatting while I sober up. Damn, I'm fucked up. I need her here. Okay, so you know, it seems... Okay, that, that was the first set of messages that John posted between him and Nate's girlfriend. Seems harmless, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's see what the next set of uh, messages says. Let's see what the next set says. Two out of two. Let's do it. Here we go. Um, we're going to open it up. There we go. Boom. And so then John says, uh, this then she says, drunk fucked up? Yeah. Who is her? Like a pretty lady or your mom? Her is in glitch. Like, do you need glitch or do you need her help? He says, I need her help. Oh, well, glitch is cool as fuck. She left our room a little while back after calling you. Um, and then John says, okay, I'm going to have to zoom it out. And then click it, zoom it in. Uh, my birthday is today, yay, I feel so bad. I left Mo and I didn't realize it. Mo seemed fine anyway when I saw him. Anyway, sorry for the drunken DM. Don't even worry about it. Feel free to do it whenever. Happy birthday, by the way. I might be intoxicated for the first time in a year. You're at a party? And then, um, yeah, so that's basically... Okay, so he posted screenshots. Did you see anything there that indicates that he tried to make sexual advances on her while she was drunk? Wow. Okay, so obviously things are a bit strange here. Now the situation is getting a little bit odd because we're not seeing anything in terms of sexual advances coming from John Call of Power Mango 11, but Nate is accusing him of some serious shit. So now Nate is obviously seeing all this. So what is going on? Um, wait a minute. So here we go. Here we go. Now, okay, we're going to move down now. So, um, of course, I can't, so now Nate, seeing the evidence, says, of course I can't clearly tell what's going on in your fucked up head, but I know what was said by those who don't have any reason to lie. Um, don't you ever blindly believe what people said. I have no intention of sleeping with Morgan. I even defended her, you asshole. And then Skyward Wing says, I can second this, John. He, I can second this, Nate. He didn't do anything. Nate, Nate, I'm calling you out. If you fucking falsely accuse John of raping your girlfriend without any kind of fucking backup or any kind of evidence, that is fucked up. How dare you? I, I can't. All right, guys, you're about to learn something really personal about me. I won't go into extreme details, but I was once falsely accused of rape. And I know what that shit can do to somebody. That can ruin a person, especially when you're putting it on a social outlet like Twitter, where you have an audience. How dare you be this reckless? I'm hoping to God that I'm wrong. Post evidence, Nate. Post some fucking evidence. Post something. Don't let it end like this to the point where you're proven that you are just an immature bastard that does not know how to actually look up facts. You cannot ruin someone like that and not have any backup behind it. Because now, here's the thing. The thing is, Nate is now withdrawing. He is withdrawing from the situation. Look at this shit. Now Nate is saying, oh, well, okay. L let's look. Okay, let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. So now that, this is after John posted those pictures. Now, John says, so now after those screenshots came up, um, he said she was getting warnings from everyone else there not to join you because of your intentions. Screenshots can't fucking save you every time. You play the martyr because you can't own up to your own shit. And you encouraged her to hang out with you and you knew damn well it was Rodri's intention to sleep with her and you were calling her easy. And then you're the biggest asshole in the community. You never back up your arguments and you play the martyr because that's all you can do. What? Wait. Because of people who were there and heard firsthand what happened, you're a liar and a coward who can't man up without a keyboard, so you weren't going to do anything with her. But your friend's like, bro, I'm a raper chick, and you say, cool, how are you better? So now we have Nate publicly admitting, okay, so you weren't going to do anything with her, but you just accused him of rape literally minutes ago. Nate, if this is fucking legit, if you really are withdrawing your argument, if you really are saying, oh, okay, John's intention wasn't to rape my girlfriend. You just fucking put it out there. You fucking idiot. How dare you? Oh my God, I can't handle this shit. I have roommates in here right now. I have people in here that are trying to sleep and you have me fucking losing my shit on camera like this. Rape is one of the worst things that can happen to a human being. But you know something that's pretty bad as well alongside that? False accusations of rape against a person. People's lives have been ruined thanks to that. For what? I know I'm being a hothead right now. I know I'm being irrational. I'm acting like an idiot. I really am. But I take this shit seriously. And this is not something that should be, that should be, that's thrown around. Oh, you hear something serious like that. 
then you don't fucking just throw it around. You make sure you, you okay, what happened? What, 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 what happened? What was going on? Let me talk to this guy. So now, so now that Nate is having this evidence put against him, now Nate is saying, oh, whoa, okay. So now Nate is saying, um, so now, um, it's, fair. you're a dumbass. No one ever, okay, so, and then, so then when he said, um, his friend said, bro, I'm a raper chick, and you say, cool, how are you better? And then, um, John says, you're a dumbass. No one ever fucking said that. And then Nate says, fair enough. You're a piece of shit asshole who's best stay the fuck away from my girlfriend. So Nate is full ignorant defense mode right now while John's telling him, dude, nothing fucking happened. Look at the fucking DMs. Ask anyone who was there. And then, and then now, then now look what Nate's saying. If you really want to clear your name, then talk to me on a private forum and make your case. You didn't fucking think of to do this before. You didn't think to fucking ask him in personal before. You just fucking assumed he raped your bitch. Oh, Nate. Nate. I want a fucking battle. I want a fucking battle, Nate. Cause this is some serious shit. I don't. Oh my God, man. Oh my fucking God. And then, and then Nate says, oh, well, if Skyward is sticking up for you, then I'll give you a chance on your end. You just accused him of rape publicly. I don't give a fuck if you take it back. Who gives a fuck if you take it back? It still ruins his reputation. John already has a bad enough reputation as it is. And then you guilt the only false rape accusations out there on him? How fucking dare you? If that's the truth, then Nate, you're the piece of shit. And I know I'm gonna see a, a ton of his fanboys in the comments. Oh, hey, you're fucked up. Oh, you're stupid. You don't know what's going on. You weren't even there, blah, 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 blah. Look at Nate withdrawing from the situation when John's telling him, dude, I didn't do anything. Back up. You were already putting these crazy allegations out there on me. I already have a bad enough reputation, so everyone's gonna believe it. And then now, you're fucking making, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? He gets so defensive whenever it comes to, oh, you can insult me, but if you insult my girl, then I'm going to kill you. What the fuck? Calm the fuck down. <laughs> I can tell myself that. Calm the fuck down. Get your fucking facts straight. Oh my fucking God, look at him, he's withdrawing. Um, and then, then, and then Nate says to John, quit doing your stupid little screen caps and talk to me in private if you want it dropped. NIGGA! Oh, I'm not letting you drop this shit, Nate. You just accused a man of raping your girlfriend on social media to a large audience. And now, you're saying, okay, now we can talk in private. You want the shit dropped? Alright. Go. Okay, we can talk now. I'll be reasonable. I'll, I'll hear you out now. FUCK YOU! This has nothing to do with the fact that John is a friend of mine. I don't give a fuck about John being a friend. Who gives a fuck about John? I give a fuck about someone who's able to publicly put rape allegations out there on the table, ruin someone's reputation, and then act like, oh, okay, cool, well, we can talk about it now, you know? Uh, you know, okay, I'll just tell everyone you didn't rape. No, it doesn't work like that, you fucking dumbass. I got everyone in this bitch waking up right now. I got everyone woken up right now. And now, and now, okay, dude, honestly, oh, 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 Nate, Nate says to John, dude, honestly, I prefer this being done in private. My girlfriend was told that someone was going to try to rape her. Nate, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Nate, I'm not letting you get off with this one. I'm not letting you get off with this one, Nate. I don't care about your content. You have great songs, but I'm not letting you get off with this one. I'm not letting you get off with this one, you fucking idiot. You don't fucking put allegations out there like that on someone and just expect everything to be all hunky-dory. You didn't do your research. You didn't do anything trying to figure out what's going on. You just assume because of John's bad reputation that he was going to try to rape your girlfriend when all he was doing was offering her a place of respite after having a drunken argument with your dumb ass. With friends there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I'm not letting you get off with this one, Nate. Follow me so I can DM you back. Now you wanna fucking talk, Nate? Now you wanna fucking talk? I would like to apologize for reacting so severely in public, but it doesn't change the severity of the situation. You're damn right! You're damn right! If I saw you in public right now, Nate, I would slap the shit out of you. I'm done with this fucking video. It's over. It's fucking over. I'm gonna take this as a lesson to anyone out there. Rape is serious. Put it out there if it's true, but if but if you're unsure, details are still being worked out, you make sure that that person who you're accusing of the rape is the person that is guilty of it. Don't just throw someone out there because of their reputation. John's never raped anyone.
Well, at least from what I know. I mean, who knows? Who knows what someone does in, you know, the, in, the, in the closet of their history, you know? Who knows? But at least from what public knowledge says, Don Call Paramango has done a lot of dumb shit. He's never raped anyone. Never tried to rape a girl drunk. I still have no conclusion, but I will admit that much. Oh, nigga, you gonna be admitting a lot, nigga. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Delete your fucking tweets, too. You just accused a man of fucking rape. Try to ruin his life, ruin his career. This shit is serious because we live off of our social media. We live off of our YouTubes. We live off of our Twitch. We live off of our fucking Patreons. And you ran the risk of ruining John Carlo Paramango's life over what? Your dumb ass? Just being ignorant? Oh, I'm mad, I'm mad. John must have did it. Boom, boom, boom. John, John, John. Oh, fuck you, Nate wants to battle. Fuck you. Man, fuck this guy.